Huh? What? Hey, YouTube quilters. What's going on? I got a new box. What are you guys doing sitting out here? Why don't you follow me into the quilt studio so we can do a new unboxing? Right in here. Hey, YouTube quilters. It's Joe here. I have another unboxing for you. This is the Quilty Box from December 2017. So if you get the Quilty Box subscription and you have not opened up your December box and you don't want me to spoil anything for you, I would shut the video off now. But if you do want to know what's inside, go ahead and stay tuned because we're going to do some unboxing. Okay, welcome back, YouTube quilters. We have the Quilty Box. Like I said, this is December 2017 box, and you can get this box at quiltybox.com. This is the Quilty Box Classic, and it is $48, and that does include shipping. Um, it is free shipping in the U.S., um, and it may be additional charges outside of the U.S. So let's go ahead and let's open up the December 2017 box. All right, I have my knife here. All right. And you see the box before I did. Okay. And we have bundles of inspiration. Um, it's featuring Felice Regina, December issue. So I will hold this card out here and I will go through that in a little bit. But let's go ahead and let's get into the boxing issue paper. Wow. Okay. So we have Wyndham's Fabric, Catterday. Not really a cat person, but I know some people who are. Um... Looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fat quarters, I think. But I will open it. Well, I'll just check that out in a minute. We have handmade. It's soap. It's more soap. Nice little packets of soap. Um, Plum Deluxe Fresh Organic Fair Trade Self Care Blend Herbal Tea. Hmm. Uh, this is a liner pen. Uh, it's by Clover. I have seen this before, and someone actually wrote, recommended that I get it, so I'm happy that I got this. Um, it's a Choco liner, and I'm pretty sure, well, it's just for marking, I know that, but uh, I'll test it out at some point in time and show you. Um... I have a cat lapel pen. Uh, I have some Aurifil. I believe it's invisible thread, which is pretty cool. This is invisible thread. I have another type of invisible thread, but it was polyester. And this is 100% nylon. But it's invisible. And that's it. Sorry for the person who hates tissue paper. So, in review, let's open up the fabric just so you guys can see what's in the fabric. Um, and I will tell you what the cost is so we have Catterday 10 piece um, fat quarter bundle which is $35 it's by Wyndham Fabrics um, there's this cat 
There's this cat. There's another cat. There's some purple star fabric, which it's really, this is really um a nice color. I don't know if you can see how good of a color it is, but it's a really nice color. I'm thinking this must be like cat scratches. Um, This just is a design of some sort. It's little boxes, but I'm sure it's like called something else. And then it's kind of like a patchwork design. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's cat themed. Um, oh, I didn't tell you. Um, yes, I did. It was $35. And then the thread is $4.99. The pen is 9.50 the cat lapel pin six dollars and once again your soak single is 99 cents um what about the tea is the tea just something extra they threw in So, Felice Regina must be a cat person. She's, yep, she's a cat person. There's more cats. I'm not a fan of cats. I apologize to anyone who is. I'm just not. Um, but it's a nice little quilt that she has here, which I think it's, we have the pattern for in this book. Um, huh. If we're going on my rating of boxes, um, from one to worst, 10 to the best, I'm going to put this about a three. Uh, they're really taking a gamble here that we're all cat people. I don't know. I guess in a subscription box, I don't believe you should put that specific of a theme into the box but i'm sure someone would want this lapel pen so go ahead and let me know and i will send it to you i'll keep the fabric because you never know if someone i know might like cats and want a cat fabric thing who knows so we have a december 2017 quilty box i do like that i got the clover pen the invisible thread is cool. I don't know if I'm going to keep the box, to be honest. Uh, I may keep it just to unbox for you guys, but I'm really, I'm not enjoying the quilty box. I hope that's okay to say. But if you're enjoying the quilty box, let us know below why you like it and um, what you loved about the quilty box this month. Um, I will put a link in the description below if you want to subscribe to the Quilty Box. I am unbiased and I think that you should do what you want to do. All right, so if you liked this video and you want to see some more videos, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for sticking around. All right, so that was my Quilty Box unboxing 2017. Bye! Hey Joe.